Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. My name is Savannah, if you are new here. Feels weird to film, not gonna lie, it's been a while. As most of you guys know, school started again, so I'm super, super busy all the time now. This semester, it's ugly, it's really ugly. My schedule is nasty and the workload is it's a lot, it's very heavy. I'm probably only gonna be able to upload two times a week now, maybe three if I'm lucky, but I just wanted to give you guys a heads up. If I had it my way, I would upload every day. <laughs> but yeah, that's just the way it is for now. So um, today we're going to be doing the second episode of BitLife. I'm very excited to get back into this because I redid the house and I'm obsessed with it. I posted it on my Instagram and on my Twitter, so some of you guys got a sneak peek. If you want to follow me on those uh, platforms, my Instagram is here or here. I can't tell which side it is, but I always put it on every single one of my videos. So if you want to go follow me over there, come on over. I like to chat with my subscribers, so if you wanna shoot me a message, that'd be cool too. Anyway, enough chit chat. Let's get into this new episode of BitLife. Let's get into this house tour that I'm so excited for. <laughs> okay guys, here we are back in the house. So I didn't change anything about the outside, but I did change the entire inside. So why don't we go and have a look, shall we? And some of you guys said that if I hold shift, it makes the camera go faster. Control doesn't work, Alt doesn't work, FN doesn't work, nothing works. So I guess I'm just SOL on that, huh? <laughs> All right, so here, oh no, it's dark, no! Okay, hang on, quick pause. Okay, so this is the entryway. Uh, I don't know what I had in mind when I was building this house. I kind of wanted it to be modern, but at the same time, I wanted it to be not modern. I really don't know how to explain it. Um, I wanted it to be earthy at, at the same time. I don't know if I'm uh, painting this uh, image right, but like an earthy modern, we'll just go with that. So a lot of this stuff is custom content. I will link the two sites where I got everything down below if you guys want. It's such good stuff. When it comes to CC, I love Alpha Create a Sim CC, but when it comes to Build CC, I'm all about Maxis Match. <laughs> so it's all gonna be Maxis Match CC on those links, but they're really great. They're amazing. Like I think everything here except for the wallpaper is CC. This um turquoise little end table here is actually a bar sup <laughs> it's a bar it's, a, it's a, a playable bar so i think that's really awesome all right so uh i guess we'll go in here first this is um our sister's room what was our sister's name again i already forgot leah or leah l-e-a-h so i kind of vibe that she's really into uh astrology and that type of stuff and i also vibe that she's very musical i made her piano skill and guitar skill pretty high and she's got like a bunch of candles some car tarot cards here lots of moon stuff uh yeah i don't know here's her guitar setup just a little seating area she has like the best view like this is so rad. I would love this room so much, but it probably gets really noisy. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's her room. And then we come out here and this is going to be the guest bathroom and her bathroom. Uh, it's pretty plain. It's all right. Okay, so here is the house. It is... Uh, it's amazing. I want to live here so badly. Like, Carlos saw this and he was like, you should save this house and then when we can afford a house, tell them this is exactly how you want it. <laughs> I was like, true, I'd love that. Uh, so here under the stairs we have a dog bed and I kind of split up the space with these large bookshelves and I just filled them up with clutter. Here we have a chess area. Um, and then round this kitchen here, round this corner here, we have the kitchen. It's very, very, very fancy. Um, 
intricate with lots of golds and like it's very regal and i'm obsessed with it i actually um made like a hole in the island here and i put an end table with a glass top right in the middle here i don't know if you guys can see but uh i thought that was pretty cool just to have like a little glass area right here in the middle i love these big windows too they're amazing um yeah this uh this kitchen stuff is all cc like you wouldn't have never guessed right because it's so maxis match but it is um yeah just look at all these like cute little clutter items like this candle wine bottle i'm obsessed with it's so cute so cute this like sugar jar people are so good at making things um that is a custom stove it's a stove from the sims but it's a recolor which i really like and then we've got some stovey things here i don't know what those are called uh fans i don't know <laughs> um that stuff is also custom content super cute hello uh what's dad's name tony 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 um He's cute. He suits this house very well. All right, and then around this corner, we've got a little dog area, the dining room, and the office space. I just needed to fill up this space somehow, so I just put a half wall and a desk. Um, this is the dining room, probably my favorite room in the whole house. I just love the colors, and I just love the vibe, and it's so warm and inviting. I need to add more candles in here. I think that would definitely uh, set the mood better for sure. I love this. I love this. I love this. I love this. It's so cool. I added hanging lights into this like leaf light. So awesome. And then all this clutter stuff over here is CC. But it just it looks legit Sims, does it not? Okay, and then right over here, we've got the fireplace with a little seating area and some books. We've got a nice abstract expressionism painting. Uh, and the living room. This was the first room that I built and what I based all the other decor on. It's very inviting, very uh, cozy, cozy, cozy. We've got frog in a jar. Oh my god, he's alive! No! There's a lid on that! Oh, that's quite sad. <laughs> this TV is custom content as well. I like the stand. I think it's cool. Um, mum, 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 mum. What else? What else? What else? What else? Oh, uh, here's the bookshelf with all of the clutter. I had to add a Baby Yoda, of course. But pretty much all this clutter is CC. It's very good. There's a stack of blankets, some vinyl. Like, I love that candle clump there. I think that's really cool. Um, what else? What else? Yeah, this mason jar light is adorable. Or no, it's just a mason jar, actually. These plants in, like, the jars. Yeah, it's just good stuff. Good stuff. Here's the other side of these walls. They have like these hanging plants with uh, a light shining on them. And we have a bar cart here. I love bar carts. I think they're adorable. I have one in my living room. All right, that's it for downstairs. Let's head upstairs and look at the rooms. Do, 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 do. So this is like a lofty apartment. So you can see downstairs from upstairs, which I really like. We've got an, a mirror at the end of the hall. We've got a little catch-all table, whatever you want to call it. Uh, we got an end of the hall seat there. Okay, so this bedroom at the end of the hall is uh, our bedroom. We are Carly Watson. Aww. Hello, sleeping angel. <laughs> it's orange and pink. That is the uh, color scheme that I went for in here. I think it's really adorable. I'm pretty bad at making kids rooms, but um, I'm, I'm satisfied with that one. This is the bathroom. This is technically the master bath because it's the bathroom next to the master bedroom and there's no... Okay, 
There's no bathroom off the master bedroom. So this is technically their bathroom. It looks like a freaking spa in here. Like, it's honestly big mood and I'm obsessed with it. I want my bathroom to look like that, but I don't have a cool tub, so it never will. Anyway, moving on. Um, the master bedroom, bam. It's green and yellow. It's, um, I feel like it should, wait, is that water? Oh my gosh, it is. I was just gonna say, I feel like it should be overlooking water. Hi. That's cool, it's perfect. It's perfect for that. They've got themselves a nice closet, a meditation board. Oh, looks like someone did a cute painting that totally matches the room. How perfect is that? He is just following us everywhere we go. I think he likes being in the spotlight. I think he's not camera shy whatsoever. <laughs> All right, yeah, so that is the master bedroom. Uh, I love this fan. It looks like a lemon, and I think it matches the lemon bedspread. It's cute. All right, and then out here we've got like a rooftop rooftop deck um, with some grilling stuff. We've got a nice seating area overlooking the city. How nice is that? You can just like sit out here and totally people watch. What do you got there? What is that? Is that a cupcake? I, um, cupcakes in The Sims just look so good to me. I don't know why. Uh, right, so back to the deck. Um, oh my gosh, is that a bar just right downstairs? Wow. Uh, they have a hot tub overlooking the water here. I don't know. This is just a good house. It's a good house. What the f- was there a fire? Did I miss that? Oh no, that must have been from lightning. Definitely lightning. And then we've got some crops going on. Actually, we just have one crop, but I plan on planting more because the mom is really into gardening. And I found these cute little signs with Simlish on them. <laughs> um, that's also CC, so cute. I love it. I love it, I love it. And then, ooh, look at this de decor box. It's not all those ugly colors. It's actually like a wood finish, which I'm obsessed with. <sighs> that's our dog champ right okay so yeah that's the end of the house tour i hope you guys liked it it took me about four hours to make <laughs> but i had fun making it so yeah let's get into some gameplay after a 15 minute house tour so let me just fill you in we are carly watson and we have a mom. Her name is Aubrey Watson, and she is, according to BitLife, she is a lieutenant colonel in the Marines, okay? She's really generous, and she has really good money, um, and she's not religious at all. And then we have Leah, who is a voice actor, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. She's a voiceover actor at Lawrence Films. She's 24. She's super smart, super gorgeous, and has very low petulance. And then we have Daddy-O here. This is Tony. He is a marriage counselor at Eclipse Health Services. He's very generous, good money, and low religiousness, but he is 65, so I'm thinking that we should probably make him an elder. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. Uh, let's age him up properly, just so his his uh, age bar isn't all screwed up. Since you're an elder, I'm gonna get you to do a sugar-free cake. Let's pretend that you've got um, something where you have like high cholesterol or something like that, where you can't have a lot of sugar. Oh, she sh jacked your hot dog. You just gonna let her do that? This is such a good kitchen. I love it so much. There you go, you did it. Don't take a slice. All right, add birthday candles. You see me? Oh, okay. Can you do it here? Swing K. Sharif. How about here? You can. All right, goody. Okay, there you go. 
We are going to age you up once your wife gets home from work. I'm just going to get her to uh, run drills. Builds fitness at the cost of some fatigue. Huh. That's cool. All right, so we'll age you up later. It looks like Leah is home. Why are you sad? I'm scared from creepy text. What are you doing? Are you dancing? Are you like Loki insane? Cute. So I'll show you what I did with our skills. Since they are seasoned adults, I figured they would have some skills and it kind of adds a little bit of story. So dad here loves to bowl. He's very charismatic since he's a marriage counselor. So he has to know how to talk to people. Uh, he's very smart and he's a very good dad. And he's also good at the woohoo since he counsels uh, married couples. So I assume he knows a little bit about that. Oh yeah, he's also, since he's smart, he likes to debate and research and he takes care of himself. Um, yeah, that's that. And then Leah, uh, she's a good actor because she's a voice actor. She's charismatic because of that. Uh, she's a super good gourmet cook for some reason. Maybe she's really into cooking. And like I said, she's very musical. So the guitar and piano is up there. And also painting and logic. And then mom, she loves to bake. She loves um, to cook. And she also loves gardening. And she's super handy from being in the Marines. Her parenting skills also up there since she raised Leah and she also has another baby here. So it only makes sense. Um, she's very fit from being in the Marines as well. And she's also hilarious for some reason. She's just like a really funny Sim. Um, and I think that's pretty cool. She's just like a really silly mom. And then for us, I kind of just, I was working on skills and I increased a few as well just because... You don't need to increase skills in this type of let's play, so I thought I would just make it easier on us by increasing her skills already. She's eating with a pacifier in. All done? <laughs> okay, so in the last episode, we made a friend and his name is Floyd. Floyd is right here. He's a, our friend. And that's all that happened in the last episode. There isn't really anything that we can do uh, in bit life right now since we're so young. So she's off to hug her mommy who just got back from work. <laughs> Aww. Mom, you're home. So why don't we go ahead and age up then, since uh, nothing's really going on. It doesn't. This series doesn't really even get started until we're like in school. So okay, let's go ahead and age up. So we are two right now. We're gonna be three. Your mother refusing to buy you a cookie while on a shopping trip at a at the grocery store. What will you do? Stay cool. It doesn't matter. My big sister Leah has been promoted to actor. My father retired. I kept my composure while I when I didn't get the cookie I wanted at the grocery store. Okay, Leah has been promoted to actor. So I'm thinking, wait, aren't you already actor? Maybe we should get her like the legit job then. But then we'll have to keep up with like her fame points, which is kind of really annoying. All right, it's fine. She's already the uh title uh, blah, 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 blah. actor title so we'll just leave it at that and then our dad here retired okay cool so do we even need to retire or can't we just remove self-employment all right let's go ahead and do that so he's no longer a marriage counselor oh did he just take a picture of our house but why though Maybe because Leah, Leah lives here. All right, oh, uh, right, we need to age him up. So let's get him to come over here and blow out the candles. Make a wish. Celebrate, celebrate. 
Come on, let's elderize you. I don't want to be an elder though. You know what? I don't think any of us do. All right, Tony. Seniority. <laughs> All right, so let's change your hair color. Um, we can do maybe... Let's do that type of gray. All right, all better now. It's crazy how changing his hair color can just make him instantly look like an elder. <laughs> all right, let's age up again. Or actually, let's see if there's anything that we can do. Just a time machine and then we can like have conversations with our family. Uh, we need to build our relationship with our sister a little bit. Oh, what did that say? Took me to a DIY workshop at a hardware store. Hmm, definitely can't do that in The Sims. <laughs> but we can just converse with her. I want the family relationship to be very strong. Can we talk to our friend yet? We can! Yay! You and your friend Floyd went to throw paper airplanes off the bleachers at the local high school. It's crazy how you can just unfriend someone with the click of a button in this game. Guess it's just like social media, huh? All right, let's age up. My mother has been promoted to Colonel. How very exciting. Okay, mama, where are you? Why can't I click you? There we go, where are you? All right, so MC cheats, cheat some info. Wait, uh, career cheats, career promote. Okay, courageous captain. Oh, there we go, Lieutenant Colonel. Okay, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. All right. She needs to reach Charisma level eight. Oh my word. That's pretty crazy. What's going on? That lag thing for the promotion. All right, what are we up to? We're just in here on our tablet. Well, isn't that sweet? Cute, that looks comfy. Do you like your room? I'll take that as a yes. All right, let's age up again. Carly's here trying to potty. It looks like she's being successful because I'm seeing some steam. <laughs> All right, age five. You started elementary school. School, Claire Russell Elementary, public years six. Okay, I have been enrolled in elementary school. All right, I don't think we're gonna age up to a child just yet. All right, let's just age up again, might as well. Oh my God, are you serious? That was so fast. Bubonic plague, bro. Of course we're gonna attend his funeral. And your, your classmate Mary wants to become your friend. Uh, she's so crazy, but she's so smart. Okay, yeah, let's become friends with her. And I have pneumonia. Dang, this was a rough year for our family. Uh, okay. And our happiness is so low now. Okay. Dang it, I really liked Tony. You were like one of my favorite Sims ever. Sad day, very sad day. Don't eat that, no! Of course you're gonna freaking die if you're gonna eat this. God. All right, head downstairs, toss the hot dogs, and we're gonna have to kill you. I'm sorry, Tony, rest in peace. Kill Sim, death by... Poison since he has the plague You poor thing you have no idea what's coming Bubonic plague oh no That definitely looks like the plague not gonna lie Actually, no it doesn't maybe a plague in the sims <laughs> perhaps Aww. Rest in peace, Tony! You only made it to episode two. <sighs> I'm 
comes over here. Aww. The mom can't even face Grim. She's like hiding over here behind the bookshelf. This is an extremely long process. <laughs> yup, slice him. He's gone. Boom. Bye, Tony. Rest in peace, my boy. Rest in peace. I know exactly where to put you, I think. Um. Hmm. Oh, you can put it right on top of this blankies. Oh, but it's floating. Hmm. Seems to fit nicely there, so maybe, uh. Maybe we can just delete these books here. Or. Yeah, just move them down there. There we go. Alright, let's engrave the epitaph. Um. Rip. Tony died from bubonic plague. Boom. Okay. Sad. Uh, I paid my respects at his funeral. There's no funerals in The Sims. Uh, I tried to get a mod, but um, it didn't work for me, the one that I found. So if you guys have the link to a good funeral mod, Leave it in the comments. All right, now everyone is super, super sad. Widow, mourning, a friend has passed, death. It's okay, baby. Um, what should we do? What should we do? You'll be okay. Um, soothe. It's all right, love. It's a hard time for everyone. I'm gonna get the mama to call the sadness hotline since she is just extremely, extremely sad. Like, I can't even imagine. Ah, oh, and work for Leah starts in one hour. Great. Okay, maybe we should go to the doctor. Okay, let's go to the doctor. Uh, we'll just go to a medical doctor. Uh, Floyd Parker? Is that F uh, the other Floyd's dad? Hang on, hang on, hang on. What is this last name? Oh no, Justice Hook. Okay, let's go to... Obviously we should go to Dr. Walker because he has a better reputation. Treat pneumonia. You are no longer suffering from pneumonia. Good. Um, and we made a friend. Maybe we should go to the movies. Go see a children's film. Maybe that'll help our happiness. It did by 20%. All right, and look at that relationship we have with Mary. It's so high already. It's like 100% now. Wait a minute. What? We can party with her already? You went to your friend Mary's birthday bash to celebrate her existence. <laughs> and look, our health, our smarts, and our looks are all at 100% now. Dang. Okay, so we need to make Mary. Um, I think I'm going to make her a child since I'm going to age up Carly to a child as well. Um, Mary is a, she actually looks just like us, brunette and light-skinned, so let's find her a family to add her to. I guess it doesn't really matter whose household we choose, just because we're just gonna add them as kind of like, oh, look, nice collar, is that Eliza Pancakes? What the? You making some daring fashion choices? It's 2020, so you're stepping out of your box. That's what I like to see. All right, let's just add her to this darling Walsh's uh, family. Okay, are these two roommates? Yeah, they are. Okay, well, um, let's go ahead and add a child. Wow, look at this bean. She's so pretty, but then again, she's got a butt ton of makeup on. <laughs> All right, so skin tone, boom. Hair is supposed to be brown. Which hair do we want to give you? This is going to be our best friend, so. Huh, I've always really liked this hair. Um, I think it's really, really adorable. So maybe we'll just go with that. You need to change your brows. All right, guys, so here is she is. She's very, very cute. Her name is Mary. Big gay. Be gay? Be gay? No idea. But let's see what she's like, her personality. She's so crazy. 
so poor but super smart cute and they have a great relationship okay well hmm maybe we should get rid of the earrings then and okay so since she's crazy her trait what should her trait be <sighs> since the craziness bar is the most full one that's why i feel like that's the trait that we should choose for her maybe um hmm can children be erratic? Where's that erratic one? I mean, crazy doesn't necessarily mean erratic. It can mean like a number of things. Let's just do that one. I think it makes the most sense, especially the unpredictable emotions one. And then for her aspiration, I don't know. Let's just do social butterfly. All right, guys, there's Mary. Cool, change our status. What does that mean? Oh my gosh, you can, ooh. She could be our best friend if we wanted. Let's do best friends. Do it. What? She doesn't want to be our best friend? But our relationship is so high. That's whack. That is whack. All right, where's the salt house? All right, knock on door. Come on in, Mary. Where's the toddler? Where is the toddler? There she is. She's dancing. Friendly introduction. Alright, let's switch on over to the family that we are actually playing. Ay caramba. I think we need to have a birthday party so we can invite over Floyd. We can age us up and hopefully that'll make people happier. I wonder. Can you throw a party in BitLife? Looks like you can't, which is very unfortunate, but hey, it is what it is. All right, mom, I'm gonna need you to come downstairs. Hey, where did that coconut cake go? Did it get put in the fridge? Oh, but we don't wanna give the toddler a coconut cake. Can we cook her something pretty? Maybe the strawberry one? Let's just do the strawberry one. I'm gonna see if there's any like mods that give you more food options. I think we should probably take some um, paid time off. Our husband just died. I hope you understand. I mean, it's the military, I'm sure they understand. What's this? Grilled fruit, where'd you get this? Did you take it from that guy that was outside with the grilled fruit, I wonder? There you go, a nice, beautiful cake. Okay, you put it in the sink. Okay, sure. Add birthday candles. And then, how do we invite Floyd over as a toddler? Oh, I guess we could just summon him, huh? Yeah, let's summon him. All right, let's get her in a cute birthday outfit and then we can age her up. Cute. Are you ready to age up? Doesn't look like it. Okay, um. I think we need a music player in the house too. Let me buy one. All right, mom. Everyone is so upset, but can you turn on something? Oh my gosh, everyone is so sad. Okay, okay, time to come downstairs. Everyone come. Hey, there's Floyd. Hi, Bean. We are gonna age you up without your parents. What time do you come home? Maybe you should just come home. All right, everyone is here. So Leah, help blow out candles, Carly. Happy birthday! Yay, it's child time. Okay, what happened? All right, cool. So, our traits. Oh no, she didn't want to become our best friend so our happiness went down. That's honestly really sad. Oh, we should probably be working hard at school too. Oh my gosh, look at all these freaking options. I haven't played BitLife in so long, so this is all very new to me. Oh my God. <gasps> so our traits, I think we should probably do, we're extremely smart. Let's randomize and see what pops up. Talkative. Okay, let's do talkative. And then we'll do mental for our um, 
aspiration. Okay, Carly, let's have a look at you, shall we? Interesting. Very interesting. I kind of feel like she's gonna grow up with like really striking features. So I'm excited to see that. Oh my gosh, I can't remember what she looked like. Okay guys, we are back. Here she is. This is Miss Carly Watson. Um, I'm obsessed with these overalls that I downloaded, so I'm gonna be putting them on a lot of my kids sims. So I'm sorry if you get sick of them. These shoes are actually CC as well. They're from Realm of Magic, but they weren't made for kids, so someone made them for kids, which is really nice. Um, this necklace, I kind of had this idea that her dad made this for her, and she never takes it off, so it's on literally every single one of her outfits. I thought that was like a cute little um, way to memorialize her dad. So this is her second outfit. Since they live in the city, I kind of dressed her kind of uh, out there just because I know a lot of people in the city do dress that way. I love this outfit. It looks so comfy This is her formal wear. I didn't put the necklace on here just because it's formal um, Here's her athletic her sleep her Party wear her swim wear This is her hot weather outfit and her cold weather outfit. This is so cute. I love the colors so adorable. All right, guys, I hope you like her. Now the next task is to age up Floyd. So it looks like the friend group is gonna be Mary and Floyd. So let's see if we'll be able to do it. Add birthday candles and then let's see here. Age up Sim. No, you can't really, you can't. Is he even here? He is. There we go, help blow out candles. Bye, Mary. Thanks for coming. Oh, 24 hours to pay our bills. Ay, caramba. Pay bills. All right, gang. Here's Floyd. Fixed him up to be a child. He's going to be one of our besties. Um, okay, cool. <laughs> I can't believe we actually made his parents for him. We didn't even do that for Mary. How sad is that? All right, now that that's all taken care of, let's see what else we can do in activities. I seriously haven't played BitLife since my last season, which was months ago, so this is all very new to me. Um, there still isn't much that we can do. Just travel back in time, get a pet, go to the movie theater. Is someone playing guitar or is that... Oh, it's just this music here. Okay, I was like, dang, that's good. Must be Leah. This woman is a wreck. My darling, why don't you just come up to your bed? Um, let's cry it out. She's just very sad and very depressed. Ooh, but she managed to make some fruit. Yum. Ah, that's where the fruit came from. I'm gonna make a friends club for Carly. If you guys know me, you know I like to do this with, um, the Sims and their friends, just so that it's easy to just start a club gathering. We can all just hang out. <sighs> all right, so I'm just gonna get her to study hard at school. Since she's so smart, I really want um, her school performance to be good. Doesn't look like it's helping though. Studying harder, like her thingy isn't going up. Let's see who else is in her class. She's good friends with Chuck Pratt. He's popular, he's got good grades, he's got good looks. Who else? Joseph O'Toole. Okay. Lil Blart. Lil Blart. Okay. Congrats on your recent birthday. Thank you, daddy -o. Appreciate that a lot. Okay, let's age up, see what happens. Troublemaker, you're in the middle of class, Mrs. Cobbledick's class, and you look over and notice your classmate Jacob just picked up a beetle that was crawling around the classroom and is beginning to eat it. What will you do? Laugh at him? Like, what are you gonna do? If that guy's gonna eat a bug, he's gonna eat a bug. 
Okay, we now made another friend. His name is Lewis Wood. It seems like only the crazy kids want to be friends with us. Huh, I'm sensing a pattern. Okay, we got another crazy person, Ruben. Of course he wants to be our friend. He's crazy. Oh my gosh, I told her to compliment this guy and she told him that he's handsome. So now we know who she has a crush on. And of course that guy didn't want to be our friend, so he's playing hard to get. Okay, well, we made a couple new friends, so we need to make Joseph, Louis, and Ruben. So I'll do that eventually. It's going to take way too long, but I'll do it eventually. I keep giving champs some treats and we just give them like asparagus, freaking uh, kale. Like, I don't think a dog wants that. We have a pretty solid group of friends, even though they're all guys. Oh well. She does kind of seem like a tomboy. I'm sorry, this kid's music is probably driving you guys insane. I'm just gonna go ahead and turn that off. <laughs> uh, okay, so we need to go upstairs and we need to make her bedroom uh, no longer a toddler bedroom. I think we can keep the majority of it the same. We just need to change the bed. All right, there we go. A new bed for you, my darling. My darling, darling. Okay, let's assign it to Carly. All right, dear. Let's have you do your homework. Why not give you something to do? Since she's up for some reason and it's 1.30, why don't we play with the puppers? And maybe we can offer friendship uh should we take him on a walk can we take him on a walk here we go go on walk go for jog baby love needs a freaking bath too him's filthy look leah's also a genius so maybe she or maybe like smartness runs in the family or it's just like a really smart family it's just in their jeans, perhaps? Possibly? What kind of jog is that? Aw, poor pup. Uh, he looks like he's not having a good time. <laughs> All right, let's age up again. A kid from school named Charles is sending everyone links to obscene websites with videos of people doing weird things to each other. He sent it to you too, what will you do? Click the first video just to see. I was exposed to pornographic content. And in the wake of ideological tensions, Germany has begun publicly ridiculing the policies of Estonia. And nothing else happened. Bitlife, you are too exciting. Our grades are perfect. So I'm very happy to see that. We're very popular. Very happy to see that. Let's just compliment all of our friends and make sure our relationships are good. Oh, look, Juanita, we're having good relationships with her now, too. It's in the green when it wasn't before, so that's good. Let's just uh, get that relationship up. Wait, I locked this door for everyone but Leah. How did you get in? Come on, get out. Oh, through the bathroom. I see, I see, you sneaky bug. Okay. Look at our grades and popularity are all the way up. We are doing great in school. Hopefully we can get ourselves a good job. There still aren't any activities that we can do. Hi, friend. Hi, Mary. Maybe we should start a club gathering. It is Saturday. Yeah. All right, let's age up one more time and then we can end this episode. Uh, no! Why does it always have to end on a sour note? Freaking champ died. Died at the age of 11? I mean, is that a long lifespan? At least he got a walk. One walk in his life. <laughs> time to wake up, champ. Let's give you a treat before your um, sad day comes. Here you go, to make it all better. Maybe they have to put him down or something from his old age. Everyone is still so sad about Tony, I hate to do this. It's 
It's really annoying. Rest in peace, Bean. Champ has led a good life of bones, balls, and barks. Aww, look at that sad face. You gonna react? There you go. Poor champ. My dog is over there laying in the exact same position. I'm sad now. Alright, let's see what else happens. Nothing! He just died peacefully at home as he finally succumbed to old age. Alright guys, that's the end of this episode. Our stats are 90, 98, 99, and 99. Not bad. We're really popular and our grades are amazing. And... Yeah, that is all we did in this episode. Dad died, Champ died, everyone in the house is just extremely depressed, and I just don't blame them, but, uh, yeah. Yeah, and now they're mourning freaking Tony. Ugh. This is so depressing. Like, the lights are dim and everyone's just in here crying. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm gonna end this episode right here. Let me know what you guys think in the comments about this Let's Play. Do you like Carly? Do you like the house? Let me know. And also let me know what you would like to see happen. Because I know that we're gonna be able to choose her career path soon and all that good stuff. So, let me know what you're vibing for her. Because I'm not really sure. She's really smart and she's very, like talkative and outgoing so yeah i love you guys so much and i will see you in my next video bye